This will be talking spirit. Where I go? What can I do? <laughs> I had to. Okay, let's get this going. Okay. You may not know that you're, um, or maybe you identify with some empathic qualities. I uh, had a conversation um, or mentioned to somebody uh, yesterday uh, when we were doing work stuff. I think we were having, uh, you know, before we left, a, a late lunch, early dinner. And I was sharing with somebody how the best thing I could have done was to ever walk away from my last social work job. That company's super toxic. That's a whole nother series of stories we're getting into. Um, and I had no plan, but I knew I, I, I was let, I mean, I was led by spirit. I followed spirit. I had faith. I didn't know what was going to happen. I just moved. My rent was a grand. My car payment's half of that. If not more. Um, but I went on faith because I knew it was against my spirit and soul and integrity. Um, and what I was sharing with them was that having that time off really helped me focus on my energy and what was mine and was it. And what I believe for myself and a lot of people who are unaware of this is that 80% of what you're feeling, if not regulated and managed and understood with energy, is they're not even your feelings or emotions. They're not. And... Oftentimes, we identify with certain things, depression, anxiety, and all that, um, rightfully so, because that's what they're presenting themselves at, not realizing that it's energies around us, okay? And I'm saying that because this, uh, I should have got these in order, this empathic overload card, um, it's really important for you to understand where your energy is going What's taking from it? Because these cards are, I mean, there's like multiple cards in um, empowering yourself, balance, having the courage, 